my name is Eric Matsubara, Technical Support Manager for GF Piping Systems. Today we'll go over the loop wiring and configuration for the 9900 and 9950 transmitters. Let's get started. When working with 420, you'll come across two loop output types, active and passive. An active loop provides voltage to power the loop, and a passive 4 to 20 requires external voltage to power the loop. When working with the 9950 and the 9900, these are both passive loop output devices. Let's start with the 9900. Being that this is a 24 volt DC device, that makes it convenient because we have local power to the terminal block. Let's get started. First thing we'll do is we'll take power off. And turn it over. You'll see our power block that's got four terminals, one for power plus, one for power minus, one for loop plus, and one for loop minus. Since this is a passive device, I'm gonna to need to provide power to the loop. And I'm gonna do that by taking a jumper wire from power plus over to loop plus. I have a jumper I've made earlier. Let's go ahead and install the jumper. All right, there's my jumper. I've got 24 volts coming in and I have it jumped over to loop plus to power our loop. And in this demonstration, I'm gonna use a multimeter as our four to 20 device. So this will show our, our analog output. And what I'll do is I'll take the input lead and I'll put it into loop minus. Looks like that. I'll take the ground and I'll land that on power minus. And there we have it, it looks like this. 24 volt positive coming into power plus. It's jumpered over to loop plus. I have zero volts to power minus. And as my signal lead, I have that wired into loop minus going into the multimeter. This could be a chemical feed pump, chart recorder, data logger, any of those other uh, 4 to 20 data collection devices. And then I have the ground ran back to power minus. Okay, let's turn it on. All right, so it's gonna look for a sensor. I'm gonna plug in a pH sensor just so it clears an error. And we'll turn this on to measure current. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're going to scale our four to 20. So it, for pH, the default scale will be zero to 14. Press and hold the enter button, arrow over to the loop menu, press enter. I'm gonna up arrow, I'm gonna actually, uh, this is uh, the source, L1 source is for pH, good. Down arrow, L1, four milliamp set point, zero. 20 milliamp set point is 14, perfect. This has an error, so I can, I can have the error either set to 22 milliamps or 3.6, okay? So we'll leave it at 22. Okay. So right now we're showing 3.8 pH and our output our loop one output is 8.37 milliamps, and that should be showing here on the screen. So if this was a PLC, we would scale the PLC the same. This would be four milliamps at zero and 20 milliamps at 14 pH, and then we would see a pH value there. Well, that's wiring the 9900. Let's look at the 9950. The 9950 can be powered either by 24 volt DC or 120 volts AC, uh, in this demonstration, we'll use the AC power and we'll bring in external voltage from our power supply to power the loop. Let's get started. First thing, let's take power off. It's off. And let's wire our loop. So first, 
take a look at the back, we'll see our power terminal block, power plus and power minus, and we have our loop output. So loop one plus and minus, loop two plus and minus. So being that this is already powered with 120 volts, I'm just gonna bring in an external power supply. So here's plus 24 volts. I'm gonna land that here on loop one plus, right here like this, okay? Let me wire that really quick. That'll look like that, okay? Loop one minus is gonna be my signal wire going to my multimeter or HMI or PLC. So let me bring that in to loop one minus. Let me tighten that down. Okay, got it. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Okay. The ground from my multimeter or from the PLC or HMI, right? I'm gonna bring and join that with two zero volts. Give me one second here. We'll use this connector, that here, and the ground from my power supply on the other side and that completes my loop. So let's go ahead and give that a test. It'll look like this. Plus 24 volts in, my signal wire going to the four to 20 milliamp device and my ground to my ground. Let's go ahead and power this up. And here we have three pH and a corresponding milliamp value on my meter. So I have wired in a pH sensor. So let's go ahead and configure the 9950 to accept pH. Press and hold the enter button. Arrow down to input and press enter. I need to do channel two, so I'll hit channel two and the right arrow button. Channel two, type, none. So we're gonna hit the right arrow. Enter the code, which is up, 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 down. And we'll choose pH. Enter. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Being that this is the 9950-11, this is a six channel, so we need to tell it to look for a pH sensor. So we're gonna scroll down and it says channel two pH source none. And here we're gonna hit the right arrow and we're gonna tell it find new device. Once it does, it's gonna locate the serial number for the S3L device, that's this. Press enter. And now it's chosen that, okay. So channel one, name is pH. In the future, we can change that. We can call that a cooling tower or a swimming pool. Uh, temperature units will be Fahrenheit. Average will be off, okay. This is my impedance check. And so the rest of the settings for pH. But what we wanna do is we wanna look at the four to 20. So right now, channel two is showing a 3.9 pH, 76 degrees F. So right now we're at 3.9 pH. Let's set our loop output. Press and hold the enter button. Arrow down to the loop menu, press enter. Loop one source is none. We want loop one to be our pH. So we're gonna choose with the right arrow, enter our code. We're gonna choose China, channel two primary. Press enter, saving. Channel two primary, label loop, so we can label it if we needed to. Um, four milliamp set point is zero pH, and 20 milliamp set point is 14 pH. Very good. Error is gonna be 22. Loop adjust is four, and loop adjust 20 is 20. Test loop, so this actually, the 9900 and the 9950 works as a signal generator and we could generate four to 20 to test a unit. So right now 8.41, I should be showing 8.41 on my multimeter, pretty good. And here as a signal generator, I can manually set the four to 20 output. So if we're working with a 20 milliamp or a four to 20 milliamp device and we don't know what the scaling is, we can manually ramp this up to 20 milliamps to see what our PLC or our HMI is displaying for 20 milliamps and allow us to scale, the, scale our 9900 or 9950 accordingly. So right now it's at 20 milliamps. Yeah, 20.95 milliamps, 20.25. Okay, so that's how the test loop works. That's also available on your 9900 as well. Okay. So let's see where we're at. 
3.9 pH and showing about an 8.4 milliamp. And that's wiring and configuring your 9950. Thank you.